Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create custom keyboard shortcuts in Photoshop. Hey there, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. And I'm so excited to bring you this episode on creating keyboard shortcuts because I know they're going to save you a ton of time. So instead of having to go through your navigation menus, you just hit a couple buttons and you're good to go. In this tutorial, we're gonna show you how to add some color into a sunset image. And we're gonna be painting on our image and then using the Gaussian blur to make it look realistic. Gaussian Blur is one of those tools in Photoshop that is very commonly used, but does not have a keyboard shortcut by default. So we're gonna show you how to create this keyboard shortcut, not to mention you can use the same technique to add keyboard shortcuts to any command in Photoshop. So here's our image for today. Now you can download this on flurn.com. Just follow the link in the description right down below. To start off with, I'm gonna create a new layer and hit B for my brush tool. Now, I wanna add some like sunset coloring to this image. So we're gonna start off with kind of like a hard edge brush and I'm gonna paint in, oh, you know what, chose the wrong color there. I'm gonna paint in a little bit of yellow right around our sunset and we're gonna get just a little bit like warmer in color as we go out. So there we go, we'll start with yellow, get a little bit more orange, pull that a little bit more orange, all right, looking really good. And then we're gonna push this to red. There we go. Now let's just choose a slightly larger color there. Larger brush, <laughs> a larger color. Mm, this color is so large, I love it. There we go. And then here, and then we're gonna kinda let that fade out to like a, a pink. Okay, well, not only did I just create a beautiful abstract art, <laughs> but this is going to go ahead and be our sun flare. We just need to do a couple things and add a blur to this. Now, the first thing that I'd like to do is I'm gonna right click on this layer and I'm gonna go to convert this to a smart object. That's just good practice anytime you're going to be adding a filter from liquify to blurs to sharpens, all of that, I highly recommend creating a smart object first. That way you can change that blur at any point in time. So if we had our keyboard shortcut set up, all I would have to do is press my keyboard shortcut and it would apply the blur. But first we need to set that up. So to set up our keyboard shortcut, we're gonna go to edit and down to keyboard shortcuts. There we are. Now you wanna kinda use the same menu system here that you'll see on the very top in Photoshop. So I know that my Gaussian blur is in filter, then blur, and then Gaussian blur. So here we're gonna basically find the same thing. I'm gonna to go to filter. Let's go ahead and scroll down till we see blur. And here we see Gaussian blur. And this is kind of the most common blur in Photoshop. So as you can see, there's no keyboard shortcut given to it by default. So I'm gonna click right here, okay? Right under where it says shortcut. I know it's kind of unclear like where do you click? But you can just kind of click anywhere on there. At this point, all you have to do is press the buttons that you would like to make a keyboard shortcut. Now here's a little tip for you. Most of the time, something like Control A is already gonna be taken by another keyboard shortcut. However, if you hold down on a Mac, Shift, Option, and Command, and then hit a key, or on a PC, it's gonna be Shift, Alt, and Control, and hit a key, most of the time, those are not taken by other shortcuts. So, Gaussian Blur, I like to use G for Gaussian Blur. So I'm gonna hit Shift, Option, Command, G. There we go, and you can see right there, it actually says your keyboard shortcut. Then all you have to do is hit accept. Now, if you do decide to create a keyboard shortcut, let's say you do like for lens blur, I'm gonna hit control or command M. Okay, just as an example here, it's gonna say this is already in use and it would remove it from image adjustments curves. So you can say, nah, I don't want it to remove it from curves, undo, or you can say accept, which would assign Control M to Lens Blur, and then it would take you to the curves, and then you could assign that a new one. Now, in this case, I don't really use Lens Blur that often, and I use curves way more. So I don't need to take the curves keyboard shortcut. I'm gonna hit Undo Changes. There we are. But my Gaussian Blur, that is good to go. I love this keyboard shortcut. I use Gaussian Blurs all the time. So let's go ahead and hit Accept. There we are, and hit OK. 
So now I have Gaussian blur as a keyboard shortcut. So let's give it a shot. Shift Option Command G for Gaussian blur. And there we go. We can see now I'm able to blur those colors that I made into hopefully what's gonna look like a really nice sunset. Let's hit okay there. Now keep in mind we made this a smart object earlier. So if I need to change this Gaussian blur at any time, I just double click right here and I can change this. All right, let's go ahead and hit cancel. Now I want this to blend with my image a little bit better. So we're gonna change our layer blend mode from normal down to overlay and see how that blends. It's looking pretty good, but I do think we need a little bit more blur. So let's double click here on our Gaussian blur and we'll just raise this up. And we can see the higher we go, the more we kind of have a subtle, subtle approach. And that looks great. We've got some nice sunset coloring in our image. And of course, if we want, we can lower the opacity to give it a little bit more of a subtle effect. And that's all there is to it. So to create your own keyboard shortcuts, simply go to edit and down to keyboard shortcuts. Scroll through the menus until you find the item you'd like to create a keyboard shortcut for, and then simply click on that gray bar, hold your keyboard shortcut down and hit accept. If there's already a keyboard shortcut in that place, you can hit accept and go to conflict or undo and try a different shortcut. Now in this example, we created a keyboard shortcut for a Gaussian blur, but you can use the same technique to create any keyboard shortcut in Photoshop. You can also follow the link in our description to get to our article on the 20 keyboard shortcuts you need to learn today. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Give us a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. We'll send you free Photoshop tutorials every single week. <laughs> Have a good one. I'll learn you later. Bye everyone. Now you're ready to just keyboard shortcut your whole life away. Eat breakfast, beep bop boop. Get some sleep, pop pop pop. Order coffee, bing bang boom. <laughs> what are we living in the future? Boop boop beep bop boop boop boop. I guess that's what apps are for on your phone.